This is the Hoof GP. My name's Graham Parker, and that is an extremely sore foot. So as we were getting the cows out of the shed today ready to trim, this cow immediately caught both mine and Craig's eyes. She was extremely lame on this front left foot and barely wanted to touch the ground at all. So I figured we'd crack the camera out and see what we could learn today. From the camera angle right now it's not immediately obvious. But when we lifted the foot in the air, it was very obvious to us that the back or rear of her foot is starting to delaminate around the periopal horn. The periopal horn is the soft connective tissue that connects the rear part of the foot to the front part of the foot, and it's very soft and pliable to horn here. Sometimes infection will underrun the sole, and that will lead to delamination of the whole of the hoof horn from the corium. And if you guys keep watching, you're just about to find out exactly what that looks like. I know that the back of the heel is completely disconnected, but I don't know how far down the corium or how far down the foot that disconnected hoof horn is. That's why I'm starting to peel away at the outside or towards the white line of this cow's foot so that I can determine just how far the extent of this delamination really is before moving on to removing that periopal horn. Now that I've figured out just how far down the foot that detached hoof horn actually comes, I use the grinder to remove the bulk of the material so that it's easier on my arms. Being easier on my arms also allows me to be more precise when I'm using the knife. Once that's done, I start to prepare the lateral or outside claw to bovi bond on a block. Just as we peel away this next slice of horn, it becomes really obvious just how far down that detached horn actually comes. And now it's clear what I've been talking about all this time. Right now, what you're seeing are the symptoms of the problem. You're not seeing the problem itself, but as we progress through this trim, you will see exactly what is causing this cow so much pain and where this problem is emanating from. In our quest to remove all of the disconnected and loose tissue, sometimes we'll go a little too far, 
and that's why you're seeing a droplet of the red stuff there. This is going to be inconsequential. It's far more important to make sure that we remove all of this overburning horn. Otherwise, this cow will continue to be in pain and not make a full recovery. We're not just working with millimetres here, we're working with tenths of millimetres. The slithers that my knife is removing from this cow's feet are so thin that you can actually see right through some of them. And this being the case is why sometimes we'll graze the corium and you'll see a little bit of claret. I genuinely believe it is far more important for the greater good of this cow that we do remove all of this horn. If we don't, all that will happen is the horn will continue to delaminate, continue to crack and attract dirt and debris in behind it and this cow will be in pain for far longer than she ever needs to be. So this foot's actually suffering from two different problems, a white line lesion here and dermatitis here and the sole has delaminated so the dermatitis has descended right underneath the sole down and attacked the whole of the corium. These trims are amongst the most satisfying we ever do because they can clean right up like this and they heal remarkably well because they've almost gone as far as they can go. And my beautiful assistant, oh no, Craig, is just about to wrap it with magical paste. We haven't magically healed this cow with one little wave of the wand, but we have started her on the journey to recovery and she is gonna be instantly much more comfortable than she was. And I, for one, can't wait to see how she's walking now. And that is it from the Hoop GP for today. Thanks for all the sport. And the merch launch, by the way, we did sell out again. What? But thanks. And thank you, thank you, thank you once again for watching, guys. Make sure you've subscribed.